My treadmill just came here. Jelly Bean says hi. Hi, Jelly Bean. Let's see what we got. This thing is bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I was expecting just a little tiny, just a little tiny basic treadmill, especially for 300 bucks. Looks like it's got and some, uh, looks like some oil. There's the cable and uh, QR code, which is probably the user manual that I won't read. This isn't just regular styrofoam. This is almost like a composite material. It's actually, it's actually really nice for packing material. This thing is nice and thin. It's not bad at all. Check the lubricant regularly. Oh, okay, that's where it goes. So we're gonna, we're gonna lube it up before I do it. And it comes with a remote, it looks like. Oh, look at that, it's like a protective film. All right, well, let's get that off there too. When I leave them on too long, dust starts to collect underneath them. Look at that. Let's lift this bar up. Oh, it only goes part way up. That means there's, I think there's some kind of lock. Oh, here's part of where the cord goes. Let's pop that up like that. There you go, nice little stand. I can put my phone right here. Let's see what this remote can do. There's a battery in it. The remote wasn't responding, and the reason why, right there. Little stop button turned on. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna leave that going for just a second. I'm gonna lube up this little thing here. I don't know how much to do, so I'm just gonna do that. Seize this emergency button. If you're buying this thing, you might also be buying this because you want to be able to slide it under something. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and slide it under our couch right here. Our bed has drawers on the bottom, so we can't really slide it there. It's completely flush with the carpet. It's got wheels. Okay, well, that should give you about an idea. That's about a three and a half inch clearance. It almost fits under there. Not quite though. I guarantee if you have like a regular bed or something like that, it'd fit in under it just fine. Overall, I'm happy with it. So figured it's time to put my review in. This is on the under the desk treadmill. Pretty simple to set up and get going. Just lift the handlebars here. And there's little toggles down here. Just push it in place on both sides. And it mostly stabilizes the bar. Plug the unit in. And down here there's an on off switch. Simple controls. Start with start. And then you can either increase the speed with the remote. slows down on its own. You can step off. Power the unit off. Unplug it from the wall. 
there you go. Okay, you guys, so this is what the treadmill looked like right off the box. I started with a brief walk at 2.8 just to show you guys what it looked like being walked on. And then my boyfriend was nice enough to get on here and run for you guys. <laughs> um, here's just a zoom in of the display. It does come with the remote if you didn't want to use the bar. But here it is. The bar does have the options to adjust the speeds and stuff for you, which is super cool. And a phone does fit up here as well. Machine has been holding up pretty nice. I've had it for at least a couple of weeks now. Um, 
I have used it quite a lot, and I do really like it. It's very sturdy, and yeah, no complaints so far. I also like that it comes with oil, too, for the treadmill when it hits 100 miles, and some batteries. So I bought this for my standing desk. It has a remote. I turn it on. And then the remote allows you to increase the speed. And if you stop it, it slowly goes down. My only complaint is if you pause it and you need to take a break, it doesn't restart on this mode. You have to lift the handle back up for it to pause.